Welcome to Audio College's brief video overview of illinformed.org's Glitch. If you don't already have this free plugin, head over to illformed.org, click the Glitch tab, scroll down, and download your copy of it right now. For those of you that want a very good technical description of everything and every knob that Glitch can do, download the documentation for it, a PDF file. It has amazing descriptions of what program can do from main features to the tiniest details. An awesome feature about Glitch is its ability to be controlled via MIDI. Every single knob you see highlighted in red, every single area you see highlighted in red, can be controlled through MIDI. From the solo to global buttons, to the probability, to the amount, to the master filter, to the individual filters, to the output controls. So when you first load Glitch, this is what it's going to look like. If you notice, there are three sections to it. You have your global section, where all your global controls can be found through how much glitch affects your audio and its randomness, to how long its step envelope is, to its overdrive, to its master filter, and its master output. The second section is your step sequencer, or step envelope, where you'll be able to select between your nine effects, a random effect, and a blank effect. While in your step sequencer, you can also randomize either just the steps, just the effects, or both. Sometimes that can give a really unique sound that you won't be able to get any other way. Glitch also offers templates. These are very basic templates for getting a head start on creating your patterns. And there are also 16 pattern banks that you can switch between instantly if you link it to MIDI. And to link something to MIDI, many controllers, you'll have to right click on it and you'll see this white box comes up. The great thing about Glitch is if you know how to use the MIDI out channel, you can set your MIDI out port to zero, and then go into your wrapping settings and set your glitch input port to zero. And everything that can be controlled by MIDI will be controlled through your MIDI out channel. The third area of glitch, of course, is your effects. You have nine of them. Tape stop, modulator, retrigger, shuffler, reverser, crusher, gator, delay, stretcher. Be sure to click the annotations if you want a detailed description of what they do. Below the main effects, you have an individual filter for each effect that is identical to your master filter. Below the filters, you have output controls from pan, mix, and gain. The gain can go from 0 to 200. So if you want a sound or effect to be louder than the input, you can crank that up to 200. So that was the brief overview for illinform.org's dblue glitch version 1.3. For more detailed information, check out the related videos at the end of this.